In this video, we're going to take a look at comparing and ordering decimals. The goal for the video is to be able to compare and order decimals all the way to the thousandths place. So we're going to look at comparing decimals first, and then we'll look at ordering decimals after we take a look at comparing. So the first thing that you want to do whenever you're comparing any number is always look to the, at the digit to the very left. You can see I have 8 on the left hand number and also 8 on the number on the right hand. Now if those two numbers are equal, what you have to do is you have to keep going to the right of the place values until you finally come to a place value where the numbers are different. Okay, With this number 8 and 383 thousandths and 8 and 291 thousandths, it's pretty simple to see that the 8 is equal, the whole number is equal. Now we're going to go to the tenths place and I can see that I have a 3 in my tenths place on my left hand number and a 2 in the decimal on the right hand side. Okay, so it's pretty obvious that 3 is greater than 2. Okay, so now this would mean that my 8 and 383 thousandths is greater than my 8 and 291 thousandths. And so what I will do is give that 8 and 83. 383 thousandths the greater than sign. Okay, saying that is greater than 8 and 291 thousandths. Now, a way to remember which way the symbol goes, it's always important to know that the opening of my symbol is always open up to the number that is bigger or that is greater. Okay, let's take a look at the next one over here. So now we have 5 and 63 thousandths, comparing that to 5 and 72 thousandths. Once again, first of all, we're always going to take a look at the whole numbers first. Number all the way to the left. We see both of those numbers are 5. We don't know yet which one is greater. So now we're going to go to the tenths place. The 0 and the 0 on both sides on, in both numbers shows that we don't know which one is greater yet. Now we're going to come to the hundreds place. You can see in my hundreds place I have a 6 here and then a 7 here. And we all know, obviously, that 7 is greater than 6. So that means that the place that the symbol is going to be open towards the 5 and 72 hundredths. So as you can see, with both of my symbols, the, with my two numbers on the right-hand side and also the two numbers on the left-hand side, that the symbol is open to each number that is greater. So what I want you to do now is get out your notes and a pencil. And I want you to do these two problems with me. The first thing I want you to do is write down the two problems. Okay, so we need to write down the 7 and 23 hundredths and 7 and 231 thousandths, just like I have. And also, you can write down the 1 and 121 thousandths and the 1 and 212 thousandths. Write that on your paper now, and then we'll do a couple problems together. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start with the 7 and 23 hundredths compared to 7 and 231 thousandths. Okay, so just like we did with the other two numbers, we're going to start with the whole numbers. You can see that I have a 7 on the left-hand side number and then the 7 on the right-hand side number. So we cannot tell which one is greater yet. Now we go to the tenths place. Okay, you see I have a 2 over here. And I have a 2 on the right-hand side, still cannot tell. I have a 3 on the number on my left-hand side in the hundreds place, 3 in the hundreds place over here, still cannot tell. Now, we come to the thousands place, and there's not any digit at all in the thousands place for my 7 and 23 hundredths. Okay, however, if I just place a 0 here in the thousands place, Okay, that does not add any value. That just shows me that there's a zero in the thousands place for this number and then a one in the thousands place for that number. Okay, now obviously one is greater than zero. Okay, so that would mean that my seven and 23 hundredths is less than seven and 231 thousandths. Okay, let's take a look at the next problem over here. We have 1 and 121 thousandths compared to 1 and 212 thousandths. Okay, we're going to do the same steps that we've been doing. So the first thing to do is compare the whole numbers. Now, for all of these so far, the whole numbers you can see have been equal. 
If ever the whole numbers are not equal, you can tell right away you don't even have to move to the decimal point. Okay. However, these are both equal, so now we're going to move to the tenths place. Okay, we have a 1 in the tenths place and then a 2 in the tenths place. And so since the number on the right-hand side has a 2 in the tenths place, as we can see right here, that means the number on the right-hand side is greater than the number on the left-hand side. So once again, that symbol is always facing towards the greater number. So we could say that 1 and 121 thousandths is less than 1 and 212 thousandths. Now we're going to do one more problem together, and that's when um, we don't have any digit at all in the as a whole number. So you can see with this number, I have a 0 in the 1's place and a 0 in the 1's place. That's okay. We just compare it just from left to right again. Okay, we move to the tenths place. We have a 6 in the tenths place. 6 in the tenths place still cannot tell which one is greater. Finally, we have a 6 in the hundredths place and the five in the hundreds place. Now, even though this decimal has more digits in it, the 66 hundredths is actually greater than the 659 thousandths. Okay, and the reason why that is the case is that we have a six in the hundreds place and there's a five in the hundreds place on the number on the right-hand side. Now, what I'm gonna have you do is do these next two problems all by yourself. I want you to pause this video, complete these two problems, and when you press play, I will have the answers for you. If you need to go back and rewind this video and practice some more problems with me, that's fine. But if you're ready to go and move on, I want you to pause the video now. Now, as you can see, I have the answers here. First of all, 9 and 403 thousandths is less than 9 and 404 thousandths. And finally, 9 and 456 thousandths is actually greater than 9 and 453 thousandths. So now we're going to move on to ordering decimals. Okay, and I'm going to do a couple problems for you. So you can follow along with me, and then I'll have you, we'll do some together, and I'll have you do some all by yourself. So now we're going to compare these numbers in order from least to greatest. And just like we were comparing two numbers together, you do the same thing whether you're comparing two numbers or four numbers in this case or ten numbers or whatever. You always want to start with the number furthest to the left-hand side. Okay, so we're going to start with our whole numbers. Now you can see with these decimals that all the whole numbers are equal. Okay, so they're all the number three. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to find, or we're going to look at the numbers in the tenths place. Okay, so we have a nine in the tenths place, an eight in the tenths place, a nine in the tenths place, and then finally a seven in the tenths place. Okay, so we're trying to find the number that is least value, has the least amount of value out of all these numbers here. And we can see since there's a 7 in the tenths place, that's the lowest number, okay, the smallest number, that is number that, that would go first if I'm ordering these from least to greatest. So what we will do, what I will do is I will just write 3 and 713 thousandths, okay? So I'm finished with that number, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cross that out, okay? Now I'm going to go to the next number. Okay, the next greatest number. So I can see that this number 3 and 952 thousandths has a 9 in the tenths place. The next number here has an 8 in the tenths place. And the third number has a 9 in the tenths place. So I can actually see that since 3 and 862 thousandths has an 8 in the tenths place, that is the next greatest number. So I'll just write that on my line here. Okay, and I can just cross that out. Okay, then finally, I'm looking at my 3 and 952 thousandths compared to 3 and 96 hundredths. Okay, I can see my 9 is equal in both the tenths place for both numbers. So I'm going to go to my hundredths place. I have a 5 and I have a 6. Okay, so that means that my 5 is obviously less than the 6 in the hundredths place. So the next number would be 3 and 952 
thousands. Now, even though this number has more digits than this number, okay, this number is actually greater. Okay, and then the greatest number here would be three and 96 hundredths for my answer. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you do is pause this video. I want you to write down these four numbers and we're gonna do the next two together. So I want you to pause the video, write down the numbers, then we'll order them from least to greatest. So pause the video now just to write down the numbers, not to order them at all. Okay, so pause the video now. Okay, now that you have written your numbers down, we want to start comparing all of the numbers. You first of all want to take a look at each whole number. And these four numbers, we can see we have three sixes and a five. So we know right away that this five and 34 thousandths number would be the least. So we want to write that down first, five and 34 thousandths okay and we can even put an X over top of that number showing that we've used it already now what we want to do since the next three numbers have a six for there in the ones place we want to go to the tenths place okay so we have a zero and six and thirty two thousandths we have a four and six and four hundred seventy five thousandths then we have a five in the tenths place for six and five hundred seventy five thousandths so obviously we can see that the six and thirty two thousandths is the least out of these three numbers so we're just going to write it next okay we can even cross that out showing that we are finished with that number then now we can see the four is in the tenths place the five is in the tenths place so we know that six and four hundred seventy five thousandths would come next so we're going to write that down in our line six and four hundred seventy five thousandths okay then finally we can see we can cross that out and finally we can see that the six and five hundred seventy five thousandths is the greatest so we'll just write that for our answer so we can see five and thirty four thousandths six and thirty two thousandths six and four hundred seventy five thousandths and six and five hundred seventy five thousandths are these numbers in order from least to greatest Okay, so what I want you to do is pause the video and I want you to order these numbers from least to greatest all by yourself. And when you're finished doing that, you can press play. If you need a little review, feel free to pause the video and rewind. But if you're ready to go, just pause the video and order these numbers from least to greatest. And when you're finished, press play. So pause the video now. Okay, now I have the answers for you here. We can see that the number that was least out of all of these numbers, four and 162 thousandths. We can see that one in the tenths place was the least. Okay, so, and then we go to four and 316 thousandths, four and 361 thousandths, and then even though that the four and seven tenths has the least amount of digits, it still has that seven there, as you can see, in the tenths place which makes it the greatest number so this concludes our video if you have any questions about either of these